Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about fox hunting. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So let me begin with a thank you to Jamie KO4KJX for inviting me out to this event and to all of the guys at the Macon Area Ham Radio Society Club for hosting a great event. Now, I do have a giveaway that I'm going to announce a little bit later in this video, so make sure you stick around so you can get entered into the giveaway. But let's go ahead and talk about the fox hunt. What is a fox hunt for those that may not know? Well, I jokingly refer to it as a grown-up's game of hide and seek. At a basic level, you have a radio transmitter that one person or a couple of people go and hide. Once the transmitter is hidden, then everyone else goes and tries to find that transmitter, and they're going to use a variety of equipment to do so. So first, let's take a look at the transmitter because you can't have a fox hunt without the transmitter. The one that those guys were using that day was uh, offered by a company called Bionics, and it's the Baofeng Fox Hunt controller. So a simple little board, uh, it's probably about the size of a 50 cent piece if I had to guess. It simply attaches to the back of the Baofeng and plugs into its headphone jack. But there are several other different ones on the market, and in fact, I'm working on one right now that will run on the Raspberry Pi, and maybe we can include that in a future version of Build-A-Pi. Now, to get into fox hunting as a hunter, it doesn't take a lot of expensive equipment. We can start off with a fairly basic kit and still go out and have a ton of fun. Now, let's talk about the gear you might want to acquire if you're going to participate in a fox hunt as a hunter. The first thing you're going to need is an HT radio. Now, it doesn't have to be expensive. You could use something as simple as a Baofeng UV5R. You could step up a little bit to something like I was using last Saturday, which was the Yaesu FT65R. Or, if you've got that brand new Yaesu FT5DR, well, it'll work as well. Now, another piece of essential gear that you're going to need is a directional antenna. Here again, we can spend as little or as much as we want to on the antenna. A simple tape measure Yagi is a great place to start. They're inexpensive to build and they're a fun project to build. And if you're not familiar with the tape measure Yagi antennas, just do a Google search for it and you'll come up with all kinds of plans. I used my homebrew Aero Yagi antenna last Saturday and it worked fairly well. And if you wanted to step up to a commercial solution, you could look at something like the Aero Yagi antenna or the Elk Log Periodic. Now, the next piece of gear is not absolutely critical to getting started, but it's definitely going to make your life easier, and that is some sort of an attenuator. Now, in the past, I have used passive attenuators, which worked out perfectly fine. For this last fox hunt, though, I picked up an offset attenuator by KC9ON. Hey, and that brings us to the giveaway. I actually purchased two of these offset attenuators, and I want to give one away to you guys. All you've got to do is put your call sign down in the comments below, and I'll pick a winner in probably the next week or so. Uh, I'm not going to do another video just for the drawing of that. What I'll do is I'll pin a comment right to the top of the list down below once the winner is chosen, and I'll go ahead and reach out to the winner. Make sure that you've got a valid email address on QRZ so that I know how to get in touch with you. So back to that new attenuator, I tell you what, I was really, really impressed with that offset attenuator. Now, for those that might not know, why do we need an attenuator to begin with? Well, when you're a fair distance away from the fox, you can use your directional antenna to sweep the area 
and you're going to hear that signal coming from the transmitter the loudest off of the front of that directional antenna. However, as you get closer and closer to that fox, you're going to hear it just as loud off of the side and off of the back of the antenna as you do off of the front of that Yagi. By putting an attenuator in line, we can dampen that signal down so that it's not as strong and we're not receiving it off of the sides or the back of the antenna, but we're only receiving it off of the front. Now, an attenuator is not absolutely necessary. There are guys that do fox hunting and they just use second and third harmonics to be able to dampen the signal down, but I prefer using an attenuator. Now, why would you want to get into fox hunting at all? Well, first, it's just a fun activity. It's a great way to go and hang out with maybe a few of your local club members or do like I did and visit another club and make some new friends and get to play radio for several hours or maybe the entire day. But this skill set can come in useful for other things as well. A few years ago during the solar eclipse, I used this skill set while chasing down some weather balloons. So after those balloons had returned to Earth, I was on one of the teams that got to go out and recover those weather balloons. And the exact same skill set that applies to fox hunting was applied to run down those weather balloons. Something else you might uh, need this for is maybe you need to find uh, some sort of interfering signal. Now, I wasn't a part of this one, but uh, recently in Nashville, there was a group that had to go find a signal that was interfering with a public service uh, repeater. So those guys uh, used the same principles that we use in fox hunting to figure out what was causing that interference on that public service repeater. So there you have it, guys. There's a look at fox hunting and why you might want to participate. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you found it useful, and we will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.